Hey, it's Erica with Saint. And if you're watching this, you probably just ordered Saint makeup for the first time. I wanna walk you through a couple things just to get you started, but I'm gonna always be here to answer questions for you and to help troubleshoot any issues that you might have. Saint makeup is a little bit different than other makeups, so I wanna make sure you understand the concept and know exactly how to do this. Just because I apply my makeup in the order that I apply it in does not mean that that's how you have to do it. I encourage you to try it many different ways and figure out what works best for you. But if I've color matched you, then I've likely recommended these things for your foundation, two highlight colors and a contour color. And then I'm gonna show you, the makeup comes in these little tins here. So it will come in a tin like this. You will slide the tin top off and then you will pop your tins in here. All of the tins are metal and the compacts are magnetic, so it will just stay in there. So I will likely recommend a lip and cheek color for you. And then on the bottom layer, I usually recommend a bronzer, an illuminator, and some eyeshadows just to get you started. You may have ordered all of this or you may have only decided to start with the four tins and that's okay too. I'm gonna walk you through this eight tin palette so that you can see how to apply everything and please let me know if you have questions. I'm gonna use this as my main foundation brush. This is called the 3D brush. It's a great first brush. All of our brushes are dual-ended, so that's amazing. But let's get on with it and apply this makeup. Okay, so I have applied everything that's gonna be a part of my foundation. The contour, that's gonna chisel out the bone structure and hide the things we don't love. And the brightening highlight that I've put under my eyes and in the center of my face to waken up my face and bring light to the center. And then the main shade of highlight that's gonna most closely match my skin tone. Now we're just gonna blend it all together. And do you need to clean your brush in between everything? No, you don't. It's magic. Okay, last step in the top layer is the lip and cheek. I'm going to, because I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'm going to lightly tap my brush and then tap on my cheek. If I want more, I can add more or I can just blend this out. blush is also your lipstick. That's why they call them lip and cheeks. Okay. 
Now we're gonna go to the bottom layer. I'm gonna explain bronzer, illuminator, and then we're gonna do some eyeshadow. I like to use a cream eyeshadow called Arabian Night to fill in my brows. You could probably use your contour color for that. This is just my personal favorite. Basic simple eyeshadow, neutral color all over the lid, darker color in the outer corner, and a lighter shimmer on the inner corner. Let's do this. Okay, now for the last product in your compact, the illuminator. I like to put it on the high points of my face. It just gives a little illumination and makes it gorgeous. Okay, so if you wanted an add-on, I would definitely say a perfector sponge and use it damp. That's going to help press the product in and pick up excess product. Also our setting spray, which is amazing. I like to spray it on the perfector sponge and dab at the end. Now, the other brushes that I used are the line brush. I use this for my eyebrows. Absolutely love it. It creates little thin hair-like strokes. I also use the eyeshadow brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush ever. It's got a nice fluffy end and then a shorter dense end. You can also use the multitasker brush if you like eyeliner. It's great for that. It's also great for applying your lips. The smudge brush, let me show you how I use this. You can use it, you can use it to apply the makeup, but I like to use it to sort of clean up my eyeshadow look. It's the perfect size for that. And I'm just using my lightest shade of foundation for that. It's also great if you want to pack on eyeliner. These are two short, dense ends. The last thing that I would highly recommend you using if you use any makeup brushes, whether it be Saints or anybody else's, is Saints Brush Cleaner because it is truly amazing. I'm gonna show you. See, the brush is dirty. Let's spray it on here. I do about three or four sprays. I'll show you. I'm wiping it on a towel right here. And now it's clean. I can spray the side of it. I got some on the side. But the phenomenal thing about this brush spray is not only is it cleaning it, it's removing bacteria. It's also conditioning the bristles, which is gonna make the brush last longer and it's dry, I can totally use it right now. So I've just cleaned it and I can use it. 
So those would be my recommendations. If you didn't get those in your first order, those may th be things that you wanna get at a later date. But if I can help you with anything, please let me know. I'm gonna put my wig on and show you my finished look. So with this amazing makeup system that's in one convenient compact, one to two, three brushes, and my wigs, <laughs> I can get ready in about seven, eight minutes tops. Um, that includes full face of makeup and hair. So if I can answer any questions or help you troubleshoot any issues, let me know.